Shell. And I'm Suze and welcome to EduBuffs. Where you will find tips for teachers and help for your students. If you haven't already and why haven't you, please click that little red subscribe button. Click it now! The little red subscribe button or rib. The little red subscribe button down below as well as the little bell next to it so you get notifications for when new videos pop up. And at the moment we are actually doing a few extra videos other than our normal Saturday ones, so you might want to click that. You might. And today's video is going to be about the rationale. Not the rationale, the rationale. But it is French. It is a rationale. I thought it was Russian. Like you have to be like Natasha, you say rationale. Whatever. Never mind. <laughs> well, we're going to be talking about the rationale. Rationale. And I'm going to let Shells take it away. Thanks, Suze. And I'm going to start by just referring you to the marking guide. So the marking guide for the rationale is in research and planning. To get full marks for your rationale, your rationale needs to be considered, if your rationale is reasonable but not considered, you drop down one in the marking guide. I'm not going to worry to go any lower than that. It's always worth having a look at what these words mean. So to do this, I have, where possible, used the QCAA glossary so that we are staying very close to the QCAA understanding and guidelines. But I have also looked up some of the words in the dictionary. So the first word I want you to have a look at is the meaning of rationale. A rationale is defined as a set of reasons or a logical basis for a course of action. So there are two things to be aware of here. You're giving reasons. This is science. We should try to keep those reasons as scientific as possible. They also have to be logical. So we're looking to be expressing those reasons in a logical manner, flowing from the one reason to the next. Considered in the QCAA glossary says it carefully thought through. Again, if we are carefully thinking through something, we are going to be presenting every aspect that is necessary, no aspects that are not necessary, and our reasoning is going to be presented in a way that is logical and it flows well. Reasonable means having sound judgment. And I wanted to put that there, even though that is not the highest score, because considered is the highest score for a rationale, reasonable is sound judgment. So even to not get the highest score, you still have to be making sure that your judgments are sound and are well thought through. At this point, I thought I would just have a look quickly at what exactly we are doing in our presentation of reasons and logical basis to take action. We're actually trying to 
inform or give reasons for or give the logic behind the research question as well as the method modifications. I think it's time for us to have a look at a research question from the class prac and look at how we can create a new research question and include aspects of the rationale. From a prac a few years ago, we had a look at what the effect is of increasing the aerobic exercise time on the heart rate of high school students. We did find that as the exercise time increased, the heart rate increased. A little bit of further research revealed that usually the blood pressure also increases. Now, before I write high school students, I've also had another thought. High school students vary in age from 12 to around about 18. And that seems like quite a wide age range to have to test. Really, we want high school students who are in a similar stage of development. So I'm thinking of looking at 16 and 17 year olds and I'm thinking as well that maybe I should limit it to just because having boys and girls introduces another variable so just because I'm a girl and it will be easier for me to test girls I am going to say 16 and 17 year old girls that is a refinement heart rate to blood pressure and I have refined it from high school students to 16 and 17 year old girls. Now we have to have a look at the rationale. Here are my two research questions again. I have underlined the aspects that have changed so that we can focus on developing a rationale that will explain how we've got from the practical research question to the student experiment research question. So the first aspect I'm going to focus on when I write my rationale is heart rate to blood pressure. I've already learned about heart rate in the class prac. So I already know that as the time doing aerobic exercise increases, the heart rate will go up and that this is because there's an increased demand for oxygen by the muscles that are working. I don't need to repeat that information. I don't need to explain that aspect. I only need to ex explain the decisions to change. So one of my paragraphs could be about the blood pressure. and aerobic exercise.
My research indicates that the heart beats faster, but it also beats harder as the demand for oxygen increases. If the heart is contracting harder, it's going to put more pressure on the liquid in the circulatory system, the liquid obviously being the blood. So I've justified that first decision because I have explained that aerobic exercise is going to affect the blood pressure as well. Now it remains to be seen if that is actually correct according to our experiment. So that was decision number one. Of course, this information has been researched by you. So you will have citations because you need to be getting your information from reliable sources. The second aspect that has changed is the change from high school students to 16 and 17 year old girls. And I definitely need to be explaining that. So number two, we looked at the fact that high school students age ranges. between 12 and 18 years. Students reach puberty generally between 12 and 15. There are always exceptions, but generally it's around about that age. If I want my test subjects to be at a similar stage in their development, I'm going to have to go for more than 15 years. Remember, we've got citations. I made that decision and I have justified it. I have given a reason logically. We still haven't said why we're choosing girls. So that was decision number three. The science behind it is that we want to have students of the same gender being tested so that we are still controlling extraneous variables. So we need to talk about controlling those. So now we have got three aspects that are taking us logically from the first research question to the student experiment research question. Obviously, these are just a rough idea. They would have to be expanded into paragraphs. I would be expecting three paragraphs and finishing off after the third paragraph with a research question for this particular scenario. But you do need about a paragraph and it needs to be short and to the point and concise and scientifically expressed 
for every decision that you've made, for every change that you've made, getting from your prac research question, your class prac research question, to your student experiment research question. Thanks for watching that. We really hope that that was useful to you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below and Shells will get back to you on anything about rationales. I will get back to you about that. And keep an eye out for upcoming videos on the student experiment because they'll be coming thick and fast. Of course, we would love it if you could share with your friends. We are on all the socials. You can look for the uh, links in the description box or look up the handle at edubox or at eduboffins. And we would love it if you could subscribe and share. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye.